What is up, y'all? It's your boy, Tony Holiday, back at it again with another video. Today, I just have a short, quick, and dirty tutorial for you. Essentially, what we're gonna be doing is taking third-party 808s and using the Logic Pro EXS24 stock sampler to put them into your projects. I typically use Alchemy, but I'm actually finding myself going back to the EXS24 more often now. I think with Logic stock plugins, I kind of shifted them to the side when I started and I went with the third party things. I'm finding myself going back to the Logic plugins, Ultra Beat, EXS24. Maybe they're a little bit less pretty than third party plugins to start. I actually have all the functions and sometimes more. That being said, let's get straight into the video and I'm gonna show you how to third party sample 808s into your EXS24 sampler in Logic Pro. All right, you guys, so here's the project I have for us today. It's just a simple little trap beat as per usual, but essentially what we have is a melody, some drums, then we have an 808 pattern that I made with Alchemy. Now I'm gonna show you how to implement the same pattern with EXS24. It's a little bit more complicated than Alchemy. It's not just a simple drag and drop, but it's only like an extra one or two steps, and it's still a very powerful plugin that I find to be useful. So here's the melody. And here is the 808 pattern. All right, let's get straight into it. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get an EXS24. So we're gonna do a new software instrument. We're gonna drag this next to our other 808s. We'll label this EXS24. 808. So what we're going to do guys is actually grab our 808 sample. So we're going to press F on our keyboard to open up our side sample window. So I got to go with the classic spins. We're going to drag that into the project and drag that up to EXS 808. You want to know what key the sample is in. And that's one thing that I really like about Alchemy is it actually just samples the pitch for you. But with this, we have to do it manually. Go here to audio effects down to metering tuner stereo. Now this is the stock tuner that comes with logic. So we can play this audio sample again and we see that the spins 808 is in C. Close our tuner, get rid of that on the audio effects, open up our EXS24 channel just above that, instrument EXS24, and we're gonna work in mono since we are working in a low end here. This is what the EXS24 looks like, just blank slate default. Let's bring our 808 in. So we're gonna go to edit, again, bring up our sample window, go to spins 808. We have our piano roll here for the EXS24 that you can see. What we wanna do is actually drag the sample onto the correct key that is with the pitch of that. We're gonna go spins 808, and as long as we go on any of these C notes here, that's gonna be the starting pitch. So I'm gonna go on to C2. You can see that little blue box that came up just above that. That's signifying is that that is the original pitch of the audio sample that we've just dragged in. Now what we wanna do is we wanna actually stretch this out so we can kind of make an 808 pattern with different notes and different pitches. If you go to the side of it here, you'll notice that you get this little kind of drag option. Left click that and I'm gonna drag it up to about F on the next octave. So now what we've done, we've actually synthesized the original pitch and we've brought it up a whole nother octave and then some created those sounds. Let's also do that going down as well. So the original pitch, the C2 here, we're gonna drag it down to like C1. So now what we have here is kind of like a wide range of an 808 essentially. Close this, click save, and we'll just call this spins 808 tutorial save. And now we have the spins 808 sampled in our EXS24. If I bring up my MIDI keyboard here, you can see that if we play this, we get the 808 sample for as much of the range as we've made. It doesn't sound that great though. The notes are overlapping. That's not what we want. So voices, let's turn it to one to begin with. And let's turn this to mono because again, we are working in a lower end. It's only gonna play one note at one time. It's gonna re-trigger so that we don't have any overlapping notes. Your envelope two in the corner here is actually the amplifier for this as well. If you can see here when we click this LFO, it says on two amp. And that's where we can actually change the parameters of the 808 sample. So say we wanna bring the attack back up a little bit to make room for the kick. You can kind of hear that delay before the 808 comes. Let's bring it way up to kind of give you an example. See, it doesn't even come in because the attack is so long. So this is where you can adjust the parameters for that. Attack, decay, sustain, release. That's pretty much how I would set up my 808, you guys, in the XS24. But there's also another way how to do this as well. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna get rid of this. And we're gonna keep just our original audio file here. We know that it's in the key of C. We've done the tuning. We can actually go right click and we can go down here to convert. Convert to new sampler track. And this is gonna automatically create whatever audio file you've just done and bring it into the EXS24. 
again, we do need to know the pitch for it. Let's leave it at C1, go to like C3. Click regions, that's all good. And we're gonna click okay. Delete that and open up our EXS24 again. As you can see, it's still the kind of default setup, but we have the sample already in this space. So let's change the voice to one again, back to mono, and we'll leave everything else the same. Let's go back to edit. We have it at C minus one, and it's just done the same thing as before. It's set the base pitch. Again, we have to drag this up to let's say like, yeah, F and drag it down again, X, save. Now we've done the same thing as we did the first time, but it's just maybe a bit easier for you to just go convert your new audio file into a sampler, and then you can do the same thing. In my first sample here as well, you can see that I have these notes that overlap a little bit. So that's going to be a glide. Now I've actually made a more detailed video about using glides, which you can check out here in the tag. I'll show you really quickly how to do that in EXS as well. Take this 808 pattern and we'll take a listen to the alchemy one really quick. You hear that glide? Let's make that in EXS. You can hear the difference. There's no release on it. It's like a little bit more, I don't know, just very mono, very chopped. Let's add some more character to it. Put the release up a little bit. For our glide, we're gonna turn it to legato and we're gonna put our glide up, say about 25% there, 180 milliseconds. Let's take a listen to this little glide portion here at the end. Hear how it did that quick dip up and then back down to that note? You need your MIDI notes to overlap a little bit and this note here will glide up into this note here and then back down when the next note comes down. Let's take a listen to the whole 808 pattern with the EXS, the alchemy, and then the melody as well. This is the original with the alchemy on there. This one is the EXS 24. And then if we have the melody playing as well with the spins, this is what it's gonna sound. If you want to take a listen to the whole beat. And that's it. EXS24 sampler, you guys, comes stock in Logic. It's an excellent plugin, underrated in my opinion. Yes, the setup is a bit tedious with all the different steps and making sure you have the right pitch and such, but I honestly really like it when I found just a good workflow going with it and you can find a quick way to do things. But again, guys, it's all about preference. Alchemy, EXS24, some third-party plugin, it really doesn't matter. Whatever you're gonna do to fine tune it and you know your sound, that's how you're gonna make good sounds. But with that being said, if you like this video, give your boy a thumbs up, hit subscribe. You know I'm putting out more videos. This video was a suggestion from a subscriber, so thank you so much for that. Please comment on my videos, guys, and let me know what you want me to do next. Go follow your boy on all socials, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I will see you in the next video. Tony Holiday. Signing off. See you guys.